It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the New York Giants and the Cleveland Browns. And it's kicking off next on Madden NFL 25. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to the home of rock and roll, Cleveland, Ohio, and Cleveland Browns Stadium. Mike Tirico, Greg Olson, glad to have you in the booth with us here on EA Sports. Greg, this one of those... In the veteran kicker, Dustin Hopkins, out to get things started. And off we go from Cleveland. On the return, it is Tyrone Tracy. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. They'll come up here first and ten. Jones going to throw right away. That's to the rookie from LSU, Malik Neighbors. They'll come up here on second down and five. Now the former Bill and Texan, Devin Singletary. And he will keep the drive moving. Gets the first down. Nice gain of five. From the gun, it's Jones. Left side in the hands of neighbors. And they bring him down, but not until he crosses midfield. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. Jones now on first down. Room to maneuver at the 35. And he's going to be taken down. Really nice play there by Malik Neighbors. And when we talked to the head coach, Brian Dable, what did he tell us? He said, I need more competitive guys. I need guys that are going to go out there and compete for the ball, play in and play out. And remember, Mike, this is a guy that led college football in yards per game last year at over 120 yards receiving per game. So they got themselves a pretty special talent here in New York. And I think we're just scratching the surface. I'll give to Singletary on the zone read. Still keeping the legs moving, somehow managing to turn that into a game. Throwing is Jones on third down. And that is incomplete. I think he predetermined that third down throw. And even though the coverage was tight, he still tried to fit the ball in there anyway, and it ended up falling incomplete. I think if he goes through his progressions and has a little bit more trust in his protection, I think there's an easier throw to make out there. Joseph's kick is good. And the Giants will take a 3-0 lead. A lot of times as an offensive player, you come off the field, you're not thrilled to end a drive like this with a field goal. But I think in this case, you can label it a success. You were able to operate your offense. You were able to quiet this crowd just a little bit and come away with an early lead. The Browns led out by their quarterback, Deshaun Watson. The stardom early in Houston. Now his third season with the Browns, eighth season in the league as Watson tries to get this Browns team going in this one. There was a time, and it wasn't very long ago, Mike, that this guy was trending towards becoming one of the best quarterbacks in the entire NFL. He has to find a way to get back to stacking strong performances, one after another, and keep his team in the hunt. It'll be interesting to see how this one plays out, but if he plays well, his team is always going to have a strong chance of winning. Running room hard to come by as he'll get ahead for a yard. Micah McFadden, the linebacker, there on the tackle. Watson now on third down. He'll try to run for it. Good job breaking the pocket and going for 14 yards, and most importantly, a first down. They bring Judy in motion. 
They fake the jet sweep and will hand it up the middle. And some space opens as he's brought down following a gain of six. Here's Watson now on second down. He's got it in the hands of Elijah Moore. And the tackle's going to be made down at the 40-yard line. That's good for a Browns first down. On first down, Watson. Really well done here by the defense, Mike, executing this zone defense, and they've got to be able to pattern read. You're not just going to... They'll try again here, second and ten. Shotgun snap to Watson. He'll tuck it and take off. And the quarterback scrambling maneuvers his way back to the line of scrimmage. But that's all he can get out of that one. Throwing on third down. Watson. Taking off. He'll try to get there. Great reaction by the defense. At first, Mike, it looked like there was enough room out there for the quarterback to pick this one up himself. But they were able to rally to the ball. And I think the officials are going to mark him just short. And he's going to have a Browns, and he is going to have the Chargers. A gain of four yards. That's another Browns. They bring Judy in motion. He'll let this go towards the end zone. So I like the aggressiveness of the call, but as the rest of the game unfolds, Mike, there needs to be better overall execution. A little bit cleaner. Next thing you know, they're going to hit some of those big shots. And they'll hold them to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. A two-yard pickup makes it third and eight. Out of the gun, Watson. Oh, he's going to be bottled up and taken down. They got him. And the Giants here will use the first of their timeouts. Fourth down, Dustin Hopkins now for the Browns' field goal. This will be from 47 yards. Hopkins' kick is good. And the Browns will tie the game at three apiece. Field goals for both sides on their opening possessions. 3-3 as this one's kicked away. This will be returned from the six. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. The Giants offense ready to see the football for the second time. They'll set out in search of a first touchdown in this game. Just a pair of field goals to show. It's 3-3 as they start first and ten. Malik Neighbors, the intended receiver. And it'll bring up second down. Shotgun now for Jones. Quick slant looked in by Neighbors. And he'll be taken down as we tick down to the two-minute warning. 3-3, our score. Two minutes to go in this first half. We'll have more from Cleveland after this. Jones now on first down. He'll look deep here for Neighbors. So as halftime looms, Mike, they have to find a way to capitalize on this drive right here and make sure they end the half with some sort of points. Now, that incompletion, not ideal, but at the very least, it stops the clock. Catch your breath. Get... And he will go all the way. Malik Neighbors. Touchdown, New York. Here's Greg Joseph for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Giants take a 10-3 lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Now return, coming from the seven. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. 
The Browns offense ready to see what they can do on their second possession. Just the lone field goal for them so far. Down 10 to 3 in this one. And they'll start first and 10. And the rush gets there. He'll be tracked down. The Browns going to use the first of their timeouts here. And they'll get together prior to the second down play. From the shotgun, here's Watson. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. A run straight ahead. That's Ford. He'll gain three out of this up to the 23. So on fourth down, here's Corey Bajorquez to kick it away. Amir Smith-Marset goes back to return it. This fielded inside the 35. And it's a very nice return. He is giving the offense a short field. Malik Neighbors heading out with the Giants. Here's first and ten. To throw, it's Jones. He'll get that to the former volunteer, Jalen Hyatt. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and ten. Working from the gun, it's Jones. That ball broke it up. It is incomplete. They tried the shot on first down. Couldn't connect. It'll bring up second down. Throwing Jones. And that is brought in. And he will get into the end zone. Malik Neighbors. Touchdown, New York. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. On is Joseph for the extra point. It's up and good. And the Giants move out in front by the score of 17 to 3. They didn't leave much time on the clock to put together a drive here at the end of the first half. And the kickoff's coming their way. From the six, here comes a return. And they'll get this up past the 20. And that's where they'll set up shop. The Browns' offense going to get it one final time in this first half. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. Last play went the wrong way. It sets up second and long. It's second down and 12. They'll keep it on the ground here again. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. And instead, why don't we get right back to it as we'll get ready for the third quarter. Third quarter set to commence. And we're back underway here on EA Sports. A short one taken at the 10. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Browns offense looking to get back to work as we begin this third quarter. Play action. Watson. That's over the middle and intercepted. Picked off by Isaiah Simmons. All right, Mike, you know me. I tend to be an offensive guy, so if we're taking a big shot to start this half, I'm thinking touchdown. But rather, we go interception to begin the second half. Now, still an exciting play. I think we're going to see both sides willing to continue to take these risks, take these chances throughout the rest of this second half. I'm not sure if it's this big lead or if it's just this second half pressure getting to them, but that's just a careless throw by the quarterback. And don't let this lead fool you. Throws like that can change this game in an instant. And this defense knows they gave him one and they let him off the hook. 14 on the pickup. First down, Giants. 
Throwing now is Jones. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. So on a day where he's completed, give or take half of his passes, Mike, you have to imagine there's a handful of throws he'd like to have back, and I think that last one falls in that category. But the biggest thing, and most fortunately for them, they find themselves... And he's into the end zone yet again. Malik Neighbors. Touchdown, Giants. That is his third touchdown of the afternoon. Here's Joseph now for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Giants extend to a 24-3 lead. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. This one taken at the 7. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. Now it's the Browns' turn as they get set to take over again on offense. They find themselves down three touchdowns here, needing to flip the script in a hurry. And they'll start it here on first down. That's into the hands of Judy on the right side. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. From the 39, here's a first and 10. Here's four. And he'll get forward for a couple. That's Dexter Lawrence in for the tackle. They'll come up on a second down and eight. Najoku, the tight end, is the one in motion. Again, it's four. And he'll drive this one forward down to the 36. Isaiah Simmons comes up to end that one. They need to get to the 29 here, facing third down. Back to throw is Watson. That's a great job defensively. Even though they let him escape the rush initially, there was nowhere to go with either their ball or as a runner, and they're able to force fourth down. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Browns will cut into that lead. And when you find yourself down double digits, you don't want to make habit of settling for these field goals. It does allow them to chip away a little bit and cut into this deficit, but they've got to find a way to score touchdowns. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Giants offense and receiver Malik Neighbors set to take over once more. They've definitely outplayed their opponents to this point in the third quarter. They might be looking to grind out some first downs and chew up some valuable time on the clock. They'll try again. It's second and ten. Now Singletary. And he'll move this forward out to the 29-yard line. Jeremiah Wusu koromoa in on the stop. We're going to try to pick this up on third and eight. And it's third down. Here's Jones. That's into the hands of his receiver, Hyatt. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Well, so far here today, putting points on the board certainly hasn't been a problem. And plays like that are why. Think about it, Mike. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you and not force something that's not there. And that mid-range pass results in a fresh set of downs. And they're going to take this into the red zone to the 15-yard line. Unbalanced look here to the right side on first and 10. Line of scrimmage is the 15. It's first and 10. Now Jones on the bootleg. That'll be caught by the running back, Singletary. 
A very nice open field tackle there. He could not get free and gains nothing. From the gun, it's a give to Singletary. And it'll be a pickup of three. So third down, forthcoming. To throw is Jones. To the end zone there, but it is incomplete. Here comes Craig Joseph and the field goal unit. Officially a 29-yard attempt. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Giants will add to their lead here in the fourth quarter. It's always a little bit of a letdown, Mike. You find yourself deep in the red zone, and you have to settle for a short field goal like that. In this case, he's able to put it through, and they get three. This field in at about the nine. Across the 20, they'll mark him down before the 25-yard line. And that's where the offense will take over. The Browns offense ready to get back to work. Things not looking good. But see if they get the turnaround going here. They'll start this drive with first down. They'll work now on second and four. A six-yard pickup brings up second. Watson. He runs with it. I love this call, Mike. Second down and short. One of the best downs in football to take a shot. Give credit to the defense. They were ready for it. But a nice job by the quarterback. Realizing there's nothing downfield. Take off. Turn into a runner. Pick up the first down. They'll come up now for second down and four. He'll take off again. And he's going to slide to a stop and avoid the contact. But since he started there, he's still shy of the first down. That's going to be incomplete. They cannot hook up there. And that takes us to the two-minute warning. They'll run for it. It's four. He's going to pick up the Browns' first down as they find a way to keep the chains moving on fourth down. Off-balance throw. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. On first down, it's Watson. He's got his man, the tight end, David Njoku. And they are in great shape. He's taken down inside the 10. Now we'll get a timeout, Cleveland. That's their second. And they'll get a chance to talk things over after picking up that first down. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball, understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended. Throw that ball out of harm's way, live to play another down. Under pressure, and down he goes. They've got him back at the 10. Now Watson on third and goal. That's going to be intercepted in the end zone. Picked off by Deontay Banks. Pass midfield. He's inside the 30. And he is going to score. A pick six for the touchdown. What a spectacular take back for the score. You can stay in your own end zone and just take the touchback. Better yet, go the other way and get the touchdown. And just a great heads-up play there, Mike, not only to secure the ball in the end zone, but then to recognize he had an alley. He's able to outrun the rest of those guys, and now he finds himself taking it all the way back for six. So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the... Operating from their own 23, they'll begin first and 10. To throw is Watson. 
There's a throw right side. It's going to be incomplete. On second down, here's Watson. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Oh, can't afford another incompletion here. Quickly, it is third and ten. Oh, he coughs up the football. And there it is. The defense comes up with the big play, forcing the fumble as they get their offense right back on the field. Coming up, Greg, with a big turnover. Taking the ball away, Mike, has really become an art form in the NFL. Some teams are good at it, some teams not so much. But in this case, great job by the defense taking that one away. Here comes Greg Joseph and the field goal unit. This just a little more than a chip shot. 32-yard attempt. Three for three in the game as this one is also good. And the Giants will extend their lead. So a road win here for the Giants. A bit of a surprise, this one on paper. You figure this would have been a difficult assignment, trying to win away from home against a team of this caliber. No problems, though. They find a way to get it done. And that'll do it for my partner, Greg Olson. For our entire team, I'm Mike Tirico. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.